Hey there, Wes here in the weather office. Tomorrow is a first alert weather day, and anytime we declare a first alert weather day, the big thing beforehand is making sure you are prepared and have ways to get those weather alerts. And it's kind of interesting. There, there are times when we may need to switch some of our channels on our weather radios, and actually this is one case where we have the Birmingham uh, weather radio transmitter, the primary transmitter. It's down for the time being, so it's on a backup transmitter, and some of the outlines areas you may need to switch channels so you get a very good reception on your NOAA weather radio this is a critical device to have so you can get those alerts one of the many ways we always say have multiple ways to get those weather alerts so you have a weather radio in fact you may have come out and I may have helped you program this weather radio we have a lot of these events around the area but just first off I want to show you what we're talking about here if you uh, first off on your weather radio if you press the weather button Two miles per hour Thursday. Make sure you have a very good reception. If you don't, you likely will not hear the voice of weather radio quite as clearly on your weather radio. So if that's the case, what you want to do is go to menu and we want to change the channel. So we want to go through the, press the arrow button that will take you through the menu. See, we've got backlight and set channel. That's where we want to go. Select that. And you can see right now we're on 162.55. Now, at the time, areas further away from Birmingham, that signal is going to be much lower. But you may want to switch to other channels, alternate channels. There's seven of those available. And find one where you're picking up a very good signal. There are some backup channels based on where you're located. Again, some backup channels in certain areas. So let's talk about that. Which channel will you go to? Well, notice in Jefferson County, uh, some backup channels you can choose. Tuscaloosa, 162.400 megahertz. Aniana, 162.425, and a very powerful signal at Mount Chiha. So you have three alternatives there to make sure you have a very strong signal to receive those weather alerts on the first alert weather day. And if this ever happens again, you can see other backup signals for Shelby County, Bibb County. These are backup channels. And that's what we need to change for tomorrow, just to make sure you have a very good signal. We're not talking about reprogram the codes in on your weather radio. It's change the signal. And of course, in addition to weather radio, which is an incredible tool to have, we have a lot of our severe weather at night. So you want to have ways to get those alerts at night. Make sure you have our first alert weather app and you can see the code on television and scan that code that will take you right over to where you can find our first alert weather app. It's free. Download it for free. So you've got a couple of ways to stay informed in addition to watching WBRC Fox 6. We'll be streaming tomorrow. If there's ever power outages, we're also on radio. You can tune us in on iHeart radio stations across the state. But the best thing, you know, we're going to have more events, severe weather events. It's best to be prepared, know what to do in the event warnings are issued. And most importantly, have a way to get those alerts and again you can check in right here make sure you have the channels changed or a good signal on your weather radio as we go into some of these severe weather events